Hi Cancer, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm going to be doing your August 28th to September 3rd reading. This is a weekly reading. Generally, I do love readings, but we will see what comes up. Thank you to all my subscribers, watchers, likes, comments, and support. I really appreciate all of that. Again, this is for Cancer, the week of August 28th through, through September 3rd, 2017. Well, you may be independent this week. I mean, something may, you know, cause you to be independent if you're not already. It looks like there's some kind of split at the beginning of the week, crying over something that, you know, is no longer there. Things didn't come out or turn out the way that you'd hoped if, according to your happily ever after. So I'm thinking, you know, it didn't pan out. And um, that's the harsh truth of a situation that something came through. It was probably received some kind of clarity that probably may have uh, caused you to become independent again and decide, you know what, well, I'll take care of myself. I don't need this shit, you know, and you're just like, fine, I'm just going to just not even deal with this right now. Perhaps you might even start burying yourself in your work. You know, perhaps something has become final or there's some legal issues going on in your life. Maybe there's just a lot of stuff going on, okay? It looks like there's a lot of stuff going on regarding your finances. Um, and you and whatever this, this thing is, is that, that regarding love, that maybe you just don't even have time to deal with it right now. Um... Hmm. Looks like you're about, there is some, I do think there could be some legal issues going on, you know, and there's some kind of decision that's going to be made, um, but it does, it, I think that it, it's good for you because it's going to push you in a new direction. Um, I see, I mean, there's probably some gossip going on and who knows, but it looks like you're just like ignoring it all. It's like, you know what, I don't even care. I'm just going to ignore the bullshit. Probably somebody is saying something that isn't true, and it just seems really like there's some childish behavior. Perhaps somebody, you're just going to sit back and watch. You're going to be like, you know what? I'm just going to see what happens next. In the meantime, I'm just going to work, concentrate on me, try to get through this fucking bullshit, you know? Sorry, that's what's coming out. Yeah, yeah, there's some definitely some conflicts. There's no doubt about it. Yep, there's definitely some conflicts and you probably can't even give the attention to love that that it needs, okay? It looks like love isn't really the biggest factor of this week, okay? I think this week is that there's maybe some legal issues, maybe some financial matters, maybe you're you're concentrating on work to cover up some kind of emotion. Um, perhaps you're feeling, you know what, it's just be easier for me to be single, to be independent. Um, you know, you just want, it looks like you're just observing the situation, trying to figure out what your next step should be. Um, perhaps there's going to be a, a fire lit under somebody's ass. I'm not sure whose it is. I'm sorry about the language. I don't even know where it's coming from. Um, you're going to have a victory. So that's great. If there is um, legal matters coming up this week, whatever it is, it looks like there's <laughs> whatever conflicts there were, there's going to be a victory. 
okay for you um, it looks that looks really good and it looks like um, so that might change things by the end of the week at the beginning of the week it's like you know what I'm just gonna focus on my work it isn't about love um, you know there's some kind of financial issues going on you're gonna receive the truth about a situation um, the truth is definitely going to come out and somebody like I said a fire is gonna be lit somehow and the truth is going to come out and it's going to cause a major change and perhaps you might even want to be independent now I don't know what this is if there's a divorce or a separation or um, something like that but you may become independent um, and you're just going to sit back and watch because right now you don't even want you don't even know what to do I think it's just like you know what I don't even I can't because uh, there's there's not a lot of love this week, okay? Because I th see that there's strife. There's strife here. And perhaps um, there's strife over finances. But you are going to have a victory. And towards the end of the week, you know, once you get the victory that you seek or you understand that you're going to get the victory, the victory might not actually happen this week, but you might receive the truth about something, the clarity about something that makes you understand that the victory will be yours, okay? So you may just receive some information that proves, you know, what you've been saying. Um, so that's great. So then by the end of the week, you maybe you start concentrating on love again and you decide, you know, what now, now I'm going to concentrate on love. And there's a beginning of, you know, feeling good again regarding love by the end of the week. So at the beginning of the week, it looks like, you know, I'm burying myself in work because... There's too much bullshit going on, and I think the bullshit was in a relationship. Perhaps there's a divorce or a separation or something like that that is causing some stress or causing some um, conflicts. But I think that you will have a victory because it looks like some kind of truth is going to come out in your favor, which is going to, to change the course, all right? It is. It's going to change the course. I do see an independent person up here, somebody who's taking care of themselves very well, I might add. <coughs> and so they just decide, you know what, I'm going to sit back and I'm going to work and work on me. I'm going to work on taking care of me. I'm going to build my own abundance, my own security, my own stability. I don't even need this shit. I don't even need you, you know. So right now I'm going to sit back, observe, and, and work on me and what I want. You know, so there's a whole lot of different aspects to this reading. It was, some of it will resonate and some of it will not um, because this is for so many people. So one, this part might resonate and this part might not. You know how that goes because um, there's just so many people and everybody's life is different. Um, let's get the other cards. I'm trying to keep these short. What do you have for cancer? Are you listening to your inner guide? Are you listening to your thoughts? Are you paying attention to your dreams? When you hear something or when you feel something in your gut, are you paying attention? Because with this high priest here, it says that you need to. Okay? You need to. This is also about following your own path. The high priest is also about doing the right thing for you. We talked about that up here. So they, they basically, you know, they're right next. They're right beneath, you know, this way, you know, with this transformation. So perhaps you start to put yourself first. This is a change. Now, this is something that's been coming for a while. Perhaps you've planted the seeds or the seeds were planting, planted a while back and you've been waiting for something to become final. Perhaps <laughs> it's finally going to become final. Um, you've been waiting for this information to come out, perhaps. Perhaps, all right. Um... This is a, this is a water, uh, water sign, earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, 
or Virgo person. Perhaps they want to offer you some emotional support or some love or something. Or somebody with a lot of earth in their chart doesn't have to be that sign. And you're like, you know, I'm just, I, I, I'm not so sure. I'm just going to sit back and watch for now. Or perhaps you're interested in them, but you don't want to do anything yet because you just want to sit back and watch for now. You know, or right now you're too consumed with this other stuff. So you're just gonna you're just gonna work on yourself, even though you might have somebody else in mind, or they might have you in mind. <laughs> this is about pushing through, pushing through the thorns, pushing through the thicket to get to the light. This is about working for it. This is about doing whatever you got to do to get there. And so here we have this financial area of your life and I think that's you working 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 to whatever struggles you're going through to to get to where you want to be and here we have this um, justice card this is justice will be served for your hard work it will be it will pay off don't give up this is the truth coming out again this is the ace of swords this is again this is the raw truth this is a cutting through the bullshit cutting through the thicket Cutting through all of it. Just, you know what? I'm going to take care of me now. And if I have to cut you out to take care of me, then so be it. There you are. Moving forward. Mastering your emotions. Putting yourself in the driver's seat. This represents the sign of cancer. This is mastering your emotions. Putting yourself in the driver's seat. Victory. Triumphs. Major change in your life, positive change, moving forward. This mainly is a victory and it represents you. Okay, so whatever this battle is up there where you're waiting for justice to be served, rest assured that it will be served and you will be victorious. Okay. So that's what I have for your cancer for this week.